So in this video, I'm going to talk about nucleotides. And so there are three components of nucleotides. And so that's kind of a rough sketch of what nucleotides look like. There are three components. A phosphate group, one or more. Some nucleotides have more phosphate groups, such as ATP. ATP has three. Um, there's a nitrogenous base, which is essentially what helps um, define the nucleotide and then usually a five carbon sugar made up of ribose or deoxyribose and so for this video we're mostly going to talk about ATP which has three pi um, I mean phosphate groups and so there are also other nucleotides such as adenine, guanine, and like the things that make up DNA and RNA. But for ATP, the nitrogenous base, oh, this whole thing, I like to think of it as a house, pool, and a garage. And so the base is the garage, the sugar is a house, and the pool is a phosphate group. Um, and so for ATP, the sugar is ribose, the base is adenine, and there are three phosphate groups attached to it. And so ATP holds energy. And you could think of it as like the molecule that allows you to use energy. It's really important. And so the energy is held between the third and the second phosphate. So right around there. When the third phosphate group breaks off, it releases a lot of energy. And so the third phosphate group, as you can imagine, is put on by an endergonic process, which means that it requires energy. And when that bond breaks between the second and third phosphate, it's exergonic, which means it releases energy. And so exergonic, you could think of it as like you're exiting, you're giving off energy. And so because the second and third bond is really unstable, the bond only briefly stores energy. And so the molecule that hydrolyzes the bond, that essentially um, is the molecule called ATPase. So that breaks the bond between the second and third. Between second and third phosphate group, known as PI. And so when it breaks up, it breaks up into adenine ADP. and a phosphate group. And so the process of adding a phosphate group is called phosphorylation. So phosphorylation. So that's the addition of a phosphate group to another molecule. It's carried out by molecules called kinases. by kinases and these are just enzymes that um, add phosphate groups to other things most of the time they activate other enzymes and so when enzymes are activated it 
essentially acquires energy. And when the enzyme performs its work, energy is released. Once again, exergonic released. And now finally, let's talk a little bit about other nucleotides such as CAMP. So CAMP is cyclic adenosine monophosphate. Abbreviated is CAMP, C-A-M-P. And so um, it's formed by hormones. So when a hormone binds to a cell, the C-A-M-P becomes formed. And so C-A-M-P acts as second messenger. And essentially what that means is there are some molecules that cannot go into the cell but produce an effect in the cell. And so it binds to the outer so surface of the cell and then it essentially gives a signal off to the CAMP and then the CAMP carries a signal on. And so then it activates metabolic effects inside the cell. And then another type of nucleotide are the most commonly known nucleic acids. DNA, RNA. Um, nucleic acids are polymers of nucleotides. So a lot of nucleotides form and make up nucleic acids. And so DNA... Um, constitute genes, so they're your genes, and RNA helps you make protein.